The learning objectives for today, basically we hope to evaluate study startup process and build some relationships right from the beginning, which is very important, obviously, that you get the right sites and evaluate them properly. As I said, one of the, my favorite jobs was a site selection specialist, and I can share whatever tips I have from, from those days with you and you know, hope for the optimum. You want to get sites, obviously, that perform well for you. The next objective would be to implement advanced monitoring and communication techniques for clinical research associates and staff interacting with sites during the study. Communication is all important, as you probably know. And the third objective is to utilize problem-solving techniques based on a variety of real-life scenarios to allow sponsors, CROs, and sites to work as partners during all phases of the study ex execution. What we never, what we hope we never hear is that the monitor made me do it when you go out and you actually start to monitoring sites. Sometimes you hear this like when you, when you have an, an inspection or an audit, a site will say, well, the monitor told me to do it this way. So we always want to make sure that whatever we are communicating or telling a site, especially coordinators and PIs, we want to ensure that whatever we're telling them comes out of regulation or something that is your SOP at your company, and it's not something that is sort of just to make your life easier or to something the way you think it should be done or the way you'd like it to be done. And if it is something that you want the site to do that is something that makes it easier for you, express it that way rather than saying, you must do it this way. FDA says you must do it this way. You know, I always used to tell my sites and monitors, if you can't find it in the regulation and it's not in an SOP, then there's no reason to do it. I mean, there may be easier ways to do certain things, and you may have a discussion. Again, the communication piece is very important here. So if we're asking a site to do something that may not be specifically in an SOP or regulation, we want to have that discussion and not ever have this come back to me and just have the, or not to me, but to, to your company, and to say, well, the monitor insisted I do it this way, or the monitor made me do it this way. So again, we want to be very clear on what we're telling our folks. And uh, we don't want to ever have this come up in an FDA inspection, certainly. Certainly that would be a fault of the site if they were following something without really knowing what the regulation was. So again, you as my whole point with this is you as a representative of the sponsor should have the knowledge in terms of the regulation and what's required and should be giving them that information and helping them along the way. Because you may have some sites who are not as experienced as some others. And again, we'll be looking towards you for advice. So again, it's never because you just said so, but because it's something in regulation. It's always good to kind of quote or cite where things are coming from. And we'll see as things evolve where these points come up. So this is just a good point for discussion. Uh, being on both sides of the fence, being both based at a site for many years and also as a monitor, I heard this on both both sides, and it's uh, always something we want to address. So here's a, a question for you, and again, the way we do this is we just chat it in to the chat box, and you can chat either A or B or true or false. In general, sites are completely trusting of a CRA and do not mind at all when they are asked for the same information to be addressed multiple times. So is that true or false? All right, so false is correct. We want to make sure that we're communicating appropriately with the sites, and we don't want them to be certainly redundant in the information. And so we want to be sure that we're following our own SOPs at our company and the regulations. But again, we want to make sure that things are as easy and as, I would say, uncomplicated and not redundant as much as possible. 